Alexa, what time is it? It's 7 or 1 a.m. Wednesday's being a terror today. Yeah, he's good as always. Wednesday, what's your deal? You enjoy your couch. No? Why are you being such a terror today, Wednesday? So good now. Oh, Wednesday, you're such a good dog. <laughs> what was up with you this morning? She was insane this morning. I put her food on this little stool thing so that she wouldn't have to lean over to eat her dog bowl or dog bowls. But she still does this funny thing where she grabs some food. She's not doing it now, oddly enough. But she'll grab some food. Let's see if she does it. And then put it on the ground, like, you can see it right there. Wednesday, why do you do that? What are you working on? This car stuff. Are you gonna go on a camping trip? Soon, you should come. Uh, I don't camp. Would you say I'm okay? <laughs> I don't camp. <laughs> what are you working on? Are you, like oil change? Uh, oil change, transmission, like all the fluids, serpentine belt. Yeah, I have no idea what those things are. All right, well. He's wearing white pants while he's doing it. Yeah. <laughs> all right, have fun. Okay, bye. Yeah. What did you call this plant again? A pepperoni? Pepperomia. Pepperomia. Yeah, 1P. I mean, 1P, P, E, P, P, F, E, R, R, O, M, A. Ah, I see, I see. I got to write it down. I can't remember how to spell. See, going with a knife. Wow. Well, something just to soften up on the side. Yeah. Kind of packed. No roots there, so we're okay. Wow, it's a little. Okay, so you just create a little crater. Well, I was gonna do it different way, but. Oh, I wanna see this. how you do it. Well, I was gonna put this in here, bury it, but see, it wasn't the same mold, so I can't take the pot out, so yeah. I'm gonna put it a different way. Oh, I get it. I was gonna do a mold, but yeah. I can't. That's, a, that's really smart. I would never okay. think to do it that way. Do you want me to open up this hole? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You're here every day, huh? Almost. Yeah. <laughs> I'm off next two days. <laughs> wow. I would never have thought to do it this way. Now, if there were thin walls, a little harder. Yeah. Because, but you don't want this to afford to cave in. You always want to have a little reserve right here, like a, just a little deeper. But you got to pack it in mm -hmm. so it doesn't settle later. Settle. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think I need to do Sometimes this. Sometimes you get a pen or, or a stick and just poke it, pack it down. Air, oh, okay. If your fingers aren't working. Wow. So cool. So you create a little well, basically. See, if it was all rooted, then it'll be the same size as that, but it's yeah. not.
See, the reason I did it this way, because uh -huh. you don't want to start moving leaves and putting dirt, moving leaves, but you're bound to break these. Yeah. So uh, that's why I did it the way I did it. Uh, but anyways, um, you still got to be careful. Yeah. But the good thing, if you do damage a leaf, it'll hopefully grow back. Hopefully. I usually get mine from Trader Joe's. And it's not even much. It's like $3 a bunch like this. Um, but I mean, this is super fresh. And it was on the side of the road. Is it stealing? Let me know. I just woke up from a nap on my couch because I'm washing my bedding right now. Ooh, I should do this more. This feels really good out here. All right, it's about like five or six in the afternoon and my friends are gonna come over in a little bit and we're gonna have movie night here. So I thought I'd go through a question or a bunch of questions that I've been getting on relationships, how to get over breakup and dating. I wanna start by saying that this is different for everyone. And you also have to remember that I'm not in this relationship with you and neither are all the people that you'll ask advice from. They weren't in this relationship with you so they don't really know all points of view. When Ian and I first broke up, we broke up two times in the six years that we were together. After the two years together, we broke up and I didn't tell anyone. I was like so confused and so, I don't know, I kept thinking to myself, well, I've got to do better, I've got to do better, I've got to win him back and all that stuff. We eventually got back together and none of our problems were resolved, you know, we never talked about anything. During our relationship together, we never really fought either, so yeah, we never really talked through our problems, which is so important. I remember distinctly as soon as everyone started finding out, like people were trying to give me advice and telling me things that they think I would want to hear because they want to be on my side, obviously. You know, they're my friends, they want to support me. But at the end of the day, you have to remember that it, the relationship's between you two. So it's different for everyone. So if your friend's like, oh, fuck him, he was an asshole, he wasn't the right fit for you, well, I don't think that at all because we started out as friends and we were good to each other and we're still good to each other. So for me, I just had to keep reminding myself that, you know, these people weren't in this relationship with me. They don't know how he treated me. He was actually amazing to me, you know? So we just weren't right for each other at the end of the day. In May of last year when we split up, I remember like all these thoughts ran through my head and I really wanted to go to therapy um, and kind of work things out because we were together for so long, you know? I remember immediately after it happened, I remember just driving home and thinking, what's wrong with you? What's wrong with me? Like, what's, what did I do? What can I change? And at the end of the day, if you're just not right for each other, that's that. And on a scale of things, it's not that much to worry about. I, I mean, it is important to feel what you feel, be sad, you know? But at the end of the day though, I had to remind myself that on a scale of things, it's not really that much of a big deal because there's so much other shit that I should be worried about, other shit that I should be focusing my mental capacity on, you know? A breakup is nothing on a scale of things. A lot of people were asking me immediately after the breakup how to get over a breakup, and I'm like, what the fuck? Because I'm still going through that, you know? I really don't know what to do. I booked a bunch of flights, and I traveled a ton, but I think in reality what that did was just kind of prolong it, so it took me longer to get over it. I would say just let yourself feel what you feel and to let yourself be sad, let yourself mourn and get over it. And um, I really wanted to stay friends afterwards too and everyone was saying that I shouldn't do that because then I'll, I'll just be hurt, you know? But I kept telling myself that I'd get over it because it's a choice whether or not I still feel um, sad. There were days where I felt amazing and there were days where I just felt like I could curl up in a ball and die, you know? But every day gets easier and I think that hanging out with my friends, keeping myself occupied with like hobbies and little projects that I want to do here and there um, that made things easier. There's so much stuff that you can do out there, you know, take a ceramics class, learn a DJ, collect records, make playlists, work on ways to improve yourself, you know, work on new skills to learn. There's so many things that you can do to keep your mind occupied, but I also think that it's important to feel the feels. Allow yourself to be sad and mourn about it because then you'll have a reference point, you know? And then when you're happy, you can tell that you're happy. You know what it feels like. I was talking to Khan about this too, because I know I keep bringing this up, but I was miserable like three months ago and then now I'm the happiest I've ever been. And he said that it's great because then you have a reference point. You know how happy, unhappy you were and then now you know how happy you are so you can celebrate it, you know? But the thing is, I, now I know that I can't let him be the main source of my happiness. I can't let another person be the main source of my happiness. I have to choose it for myself. I have to find happiness for myself. Another thing you can do if you don't have a therapist to talk to, which I did a ton, was um, I, I just kind of word vomit my thoughts in a notepad or like um, wrote on my computer. 
So I'll write everything down or I'll um, type everything up on my phone or type everything up on my computer and I'll just word vomit everything. Don't worry about grammatical errors or anything like that. Just kind of let your, your brain just vomit on, on paper, on your computer, on your phone. I f yeah, I felt like I was going crazy. So writing everything down kind of helped me flush everything, you know? And on dating, I can't really even get into that because I have no expertise on this. I've only been in long-term relationships. I'm like a serial monogamous. Just thinking about it gives me anxiety. I'm like getting itchy just thinking about it. But um, I'm not on any apps, but all my friends who are, they meet so many cool people. Right now where I'm at is, I'm just trying to work on not being so hard on myself and you know, finding self-love and then finding new skills to grow. I don't feel like I did a really good job with this, but if you have any other questions for me, leave a comment down below and I'll try my best to answer it honestly. Yeah, I really hope that helps. This is a touchy subject. It's different for everyone. How did you make this? How did I make this? How did you make this? <laughs>